It looks like the owners have already taken some precautions. <laughs> they, they, I'm amazed. Como lo agarre? Como lo capturan? That's nuts. So it actually came into their house and he pinned it with a little fork stick and then put it underneath the bucket, which hopefully for us is going to have calmed it down. That tends to be what happens. With their home situated in a man-made jungle clearing, this Pimon family is all too familiar with venomous snakes and other crawling creatures in their huts, including this giant cockroach. Absolutely enormous. Absolutely huge. Hey, little guy. Fantastic. <laughs> the reason I carry a bag with me when I'm out herping, out looking for snakes, is because if you put them in a bag and it gets dark, they tend to calm down. So they've put it underneath a bucket. Let's hope it's nice and calm when it comes out. On the other hand, it will have warmed up and will be even faster and more feisty than normal, potentially. Okay. You all ready? Yeah, that is a Bothrops. Beautiful. Wow. That is a Ferda Lance. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. So it's a Lance head snake because it's got this spear shaped head. That is absolutely spectacular. Though small, this Ferda Lance packs a powerful cocktail of blood, nerve, and tissue destroying venom. Ferda Lance are responsible for more fatalities in Central America than any other snake. Even with prompt treatment, their bites frequently cause massive tissue destruction and then amputation. Growing up to eight feet long, Ferda Lance typically inject double the lethal dose for humans. Okay. So this guy is packing some serious venom, both hemo and cytotoxic. So not only are you gonna hemorrhage badly, your blood will coagulate and it has cell destroying venom as well, cytotoxic, which serves the great function as far as the snake's concerned, of partially digesting its meal before it gets into its stomach. That is absolutely superb. And it's an ambush predator. It'll just sit and wait in the leaves and wait for something to go past. And then using its heat sensitive pits, which you'll see just in front of its eyes, it'll spot any change in temperature going past it. Bang, it's gonna smack the next thing that moves. Pump it full of some seriously toxic venom. Hello, little thing. I love all snakes. This is only the second one of these I've ever seen. And I am enchanted. That is superb. You seen many of these? Um, they're, they're quite common, but of course they're being killed as we speak. Yeah. One of the great shames about people is we try and remove all threats from our environment. Yes. This is a pretty serious threat. These are worthy of all of the rumors you hear about them. This one's being amazingly calm, partially because I'm being gentle with it and partially just because of the personality of the snake by itself. But they have a reputation for coming out swinging. If they feel threatened, they will just charge and fire at anything and everything that moves. This guy is being really calm, but I'm being as gentle as I can with it, and that's certainly helping the situation. There we go. Time to get this venomous visitor out of here and back into his forest home.